In this lesson, we will explore the relationship between decimals and fractions. Fractions with a denominator of 10 or 100 are special because they can also be used to express decimal numbers. Now when the denominator of a fraction is 10, the fraction represents tenths. When the denominator of a fraction is 100, the fraction represents hundredths. Using these types of fractions, you will learn how to write decimals using place value. Decimal place value is similar to whole number place value, and a place value chart that includes a decimal place will look like this. Now notice here that there's a decimal point in the middle of this place value table, and then you have the place values of tenths, right, which represents denominators of 10, or you have hundredths, which we've showed you as a denominator out of 100. So let's learn how to write fractions as decimals, and then we'll put the decimal in a place value chart. First, we will work with tenths. So let's take a look at this tenths grid that I've just put into the window, and we want to know what fraction is shown. Since the tenth grid has 10 equal parts, you can count the number of shaded parts to find the fraction out of 10. So the denominator is going to be 10, because there are 10 total parts. And if you count, 7 of those 10 total parts are filled in green. So the fraction here is 7 tenths. So this equals an tenths. Now what we want to do is write this in the place value chart. 7 over 10 tells you that the number has to go in the tenths place. So you have 7 tenths, so that means you just put a 7 in the tenths place, and you can write this decimal as 0 0.7. Or you can just write it as 0.7. You don't necessarily need to include the 0. Now let's work with hundredths. So in this hundredths grid, there are 100 equal parts, so we know the denominator is going to be out of 100. Now if you go ahead and you count all the green squares in this model, you'll find that there are 35 of them filled in. So the fraction shown here is 35 hundredths, and this can be written as the words 35 hundredths, just like that. Now because 35 is over 100, what you have to do is put the last digit of the number in the hundredths place. And that's because, as you know from whole number place value, you can't write two numbers in one place value. So what you do, in this case, is you write the last digit, and the last digit of this fraction is a 5. So we put the 5 in the hundredths place, and the 3 goes in the tenths place. Keep the decimal point, and you can have 0 in front, or you can leave it out. So now, as you can see, <clears throat> 35 hundredths is equivalent to 3 tenths and 5 hundredths. Now, if you wrote this as fractions, right, 3 tenths would be 3 over 10, and then plus your 5 hundredths, which would be 5 over 100. Now let's take a look at this decimal on a number line. So we're going to think about the number 35 hundredths, or 0 0.35, and we want to place this decimal on the number line. Now we know that 35 hundredths is greater than 30 hundredths, right? 30 hundredths is 3 tenths, or 30 over 100. You can think of it as either way. So we know that 35 hundredths is greater than 30 one hundredths, but it's going to be less than 40 one hundredths, or again, you can think of that as 4 tenths. So 35 hundredths actually falls directly in between 30 hundredths and 40 one hundredths. Now because 30 one hundredths is 310, it's visualized on the number line right here as 0 0.3. 40 hundredths, or 4 tenths, is visualized right here as 0 0.4. 0 0.35 would fall directly in between these two values, and this is where we're going to put our decimal. 35 hundredths falls in between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. In this lesson, you've learned a little bit more about the relationship between decimals and fractions. Happy solving!